Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm Sean Gant, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about one-step equations with integers. Solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, v minus 10 equals a negative 9. Well, the first thing I want to do is get v by itself. We have subtract 10 right there, so I want to opposite subtractions addition. I'm going to add a 10 to both sides of the equation. Now, v comes down, or minus 10, plus 10, that cancels each other out. We're left with v by itself, is what we want, and then negative 9 plus 10 is a positive 1. So my final answer here is just v equals v minus 10 equals a negative 3. Well, we have v minus 10 equals negative 3. Opposite of subtracting a 10 is adding a 10. We want to get v by itself. So I add a 10 to both sides. That leaves me v by itself on the left because, you know, negative 10 and positive 10 cancel each other out. And negative 3 plus 10 is a positive 7. And so my final answer here is just v equals 7. x minus 3 equals 4. We want to get x by itself, so to do that, opposite of subtracting 3 is adding a 3. I'm going to add a 3 to both sides of the equation. This eliminates 3 on the left side, giving me x by itself there, and 4 plus 3 is a 7. So my final x over 2, or 5, excuse me, equals 2. Well, opposite of division is multiplication. So we're divided by 5. So if I multiply 5 to both sides, that gives me, well, cancels out, x by itself. And 2 times 5 is 10. So now we're done. Final answer is just x equals 10. 22 equals a negative 11k. First thing I want to do is to get k by itself. So I have multiplication here between negative 11 and k. Opposite of multiplication is division. So I divide both sides by negative 11. This gives me k by itself because these negative 11s will cancel out. 22 divided by negative 11 is a negative 2. And so we got k by ourselves, and we can write it as k first. We want k equals a negative 2 is our final answer. Negative 13m equals a negative 377. First thing here, I want to get m by itself, so I divide by negative 13 to both sides. This gives me m by itself, and now with the solve, well, what's negative 377 divided by negative 13? Negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 377, sorry, divided by 13 is 29. And so my final answer here is just m equals a 29. b minus 7 equals a negative 1. All right? Well, I want to get b by itself, so I subtract 7 next to it. Opposite of subtraction is addition. If I add a 7 to both sides, that gives me b by itself. The 7s here cancel, and negative 1 plus 7 is a positive 6. And so my final answer here is just b equals a positive 6. Negative 8 equals p minus 13, all right? I want to get p by itself. Right next to it, I have a minus 13. Well, opposite of subtraction is addition. So I'm going to add a 13 to both sides, okay? What this does is leaves me p by itself, and now I have negative 8 plus 13, which is a positive 5. So if p equals 5, I can, or 5 equals p, I can rewrite that if I want p equals 5. Either way, I have my final answer of p equals 5 negative 40 equals negative 5 times p. I want to get p by itself, so to do that, I have to get 5 to, or negative 5 to the other side. Opposite of multiplication, which is going on there, is division. So I divide both sides by negative 5. Negative 5's cancel, and that gives me positive p by itself on the right. Now, on the left, negative 40 divided by negative 5 is a positive 8. Right? Negative divided by negative is a positive. So, a equals P, or we can write P first, P equals 8. Either way, we have our final answer. 418 equals a negative 22 times A. <clears throat> well, 
I have multiplication right there. I need to get A by itself. So opposite of multiplication, division. I divide both sides by negative 22. That cancels out these negative 22s on the right, leaving me A by itself. Now, 418 divided by negative 22, well, that's a negative 19. Positive divided by, divided by a negative is a negative, and 418 divided by 22 is 19. Now, we have our answer. We could rewrite this to have A come first, and A equals a negative 19 here is our final answer. A over 29 equals 5. All right? Well, what I want to do first, okay, I want to get A by itself. So it's a being divided by 29. To get the 29 to the other side, I need to multiply both sides by 29. Remember, multiplication is the opposite of division. This cancels the 29s here, giving me A by itself. Now I have 5 times 29. 5 times 29 is 145. And so now we have our final answer of A equals 145. Negative 2 equals M over 16. All right? Well, I want to get M by itself first. It's being divided by 16. To get it over to the other side, 16, I need to multiply both sides by 16. That cancels out the division. So now I have m by itself, but now I have 16 times negative 2. 16 times negative 2 is a negative 32. And so we have negative 32 equals m. I could rearrange it to have m come first. And I have a final answer of m equals a negative 32. x minus 11 equals 16. All right? I want to get x by itself. We have subtract 11 right next to it. To get x by itself, I have to do the opposite of subtraction, addition. I add an 11 to both sides. This gives me x by itself, because the 11s will cancel. And now I have 16 plus 11, which is 27. So now my final answer is just x equals 27. Negative 10 equals x minus 21. All right, so I want to get x by itself. I have a subtract 21 right next to it. Opposite of subtraction is addition. I add a 21 to both sides. This gives me x by itself. The 21s will cancel. Now, negative 10 plus 21 is a positive 11. All right? 11 equals x. We have x come first. x comes first equals 11. And there we go. Our final answer is just x equals 11. 20 equals n over 4. First thing I want to do is to get n by itself. It's being divided by 4, so I have to get rid of the 4, or move it to the other side. Opposite of division is multiplication, so I multiply both sides by 4. This cancels out the 4 on the right, giving me n by itself. But now I have 4 times 20 on the left. 4 times 20 is 80. All right, so now we got our answer. I can rearrange it to have n come first, and so n equals 80 is my final answer. n minus 29 equals negative 53. We want to get n by itself. It's being subtracted by a 29, so I want to bring that over to the right. Opposite of subtraction is addition. So I'm going to add a 29 over the equal sign to both sides. 29 to cancel on the left, give me n by itself. Now, negative 53 plus 29 is a negative 24. And so my final answer here is just n equals a negative 24. Negative 19 equals b minus 6. I want to get b by itself, so there's subtract 6 right next to it. To bring it over to the other side, I have to do the opposite, which is addition. I add a 6 to both sides. The 6s on the right will cancel, and I'm left with b by itself. Now, I have negative 19 plus 6. That comes out to be negative 13. So if negative 13 equals b, we'll flip that around, put b first. b equals negative 13, and there we have it, our final answer. Negative 8 equals negative 16 plus n. I want to get n by itself. Now we have a negative 16 there on the right. Opposite of that negative 16, or adding a negative, is also adding a positive 16. So if I add a positive 16 
to both sides. That will eliminate the negative 16 on the right. I got n by itself now on the right. Negative 8 plus 16 on the left comes out to be a positive 8. 8 equals n. Basically done. We can write n first. So we have n equals 8. And there we have our final answer. Negative 9 plus x equals a negative 26. I have x by itself, okay? or I want to get x by itself, but there's a negative 9 there. To get rid of the negative 9, I have to add a 9 to both sides, the opposite there. I have x now by itself, but I have negative 26 plus 9. Negative 26 plus 9 is a negative 17. So now our final answer here is just x equals a negative 16. 29 plus n equals 13. I want to get n by itself, so to do so, I have to subtract a 29 to both sides. We are subtract, whoops, that's the right addition there, right? We were given uh, a positive 29, and opposite of that is subtracting 29. So we su subtracted 29 to both sides. 29 will cancel, leaving me n by itself on the left. Now, 13 minus 29 is a negative 16. So now we have n by itself, and our final answer, n equals a negative 16. 21 equals x over 18. I want to get x by itself, but it's being divided by an 18. To get rid of that 18, I have to do the opposite of division, multiplication. I'm going to multiply both sides by 18. Now I have x by itself, because these 18s will cancel on the right. But with 18 times 21, that is 378. So we said that's equal to x. I can write x first, so we have x equals 378. And there we have our final answer. k plus 1 equals a negative 27. Well, if k plus 1 equals negative 27, I want to get k by itself. Opposite of addition is subtraction. So if I subtract 1 to both sides, I'm left with now k by itself. The 1s will cancel. Negative 27 minus 1 is a negative 28. And so our final answer now is just k equals a negative 28. 6 equals m minus 16. Well, I want to get m by itself. It's being subtracted by 16. Opposite of subtraction is addition. I'm going to add 16 to both sides. This gives me now, well, 16's cancel. It's just m by itself. 6 plus 16 is a 22. All right, we have 22 equals m. I can write m first, right here, m equals 22. And there we have our final answer, m equals 22. 5 equals v plus 29. I want to get v by itself. So to get v by itself, I have to do the opposite of the addition with a 29. Subtraction. I'm going to subtract a 29 to both sides. The 29s on the right will cancel. So now I have v by itself on the right. But 5 minus 29 is a negative 24. All right? Now, I can put v first. Makes it a little nicer, or neater, right? Nice and neater. And so V equals negative 24 is my final answer. 168 equals a negative 84N. All right? Well, I want to get N by itself. Now, there's a multiplication between negative 84 and N right there. Okay? Opposite multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 80. 4, or negative 84. This will get me, well, 80, negative 84's cancel, n by itself on the right. On the left, 168 divided by negative 84 is a negative 2. All right? Positive divided by a negative is a negative. 168 divided by 84 is 2. All right? So negative 2 equals n. We can put, excuse me, n first equals a negative 2. And there we have our final answer. 41k equals a negative 270, 2,747, excuse me, all right? Well, there's multiplication going on here between 41 and k. Opposite of multiplication is division. So if I divide both sides by a 41, 
The 41s on the left will cancel, giving me k by itself. Now, what's negative 2,747 divided by 41? Well, that's a negative 67. And so my final answer here is just k equals a negative 67. x over 15 equals 11. Well, I want to get x by itself, but it's being divided by 15. Opposite of division, multiplication. So if I multiply both sides by 15, the 15s on the left will cancel, give me x by itself. Now, 11 times 15 is 165. So now our answer, and final answer, right, is x equals 165. Negative 71 equals x over 64. Well, I want to get x by itself. It's being divided by 64. So opposite of division, multiplication. If I multiply both sides by a 64, the 64 here on the right will cancel. That gets me x by itself. Now, 64 times negative 71 is negative 4,544. So we have negative 4,544 equal to x. I can rearrange that to have x come first. And so x equals negative 4,544 as our final answer. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.